Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do, um, let's do raw love, okay? Um, first month, and the first two weeks of March. Um, and let's do Pisces. Let's do my little Piscesians. Let's see what we're looking at. Oh my goodness gracious one more time one more time it's ready it's ready to go it's ready freddy's pisces first two weeks of march hey what did i say about the bone on the bed um no thank you no thank you So five of fire, five, which is the five of wands. Three of earth. Ten of water. Right off the bat, you have a spiritual contract here, okay? You got the Queen of Water, Six of Fire. So, working on ego, okay? This is definitely working on ego. Um, and then you got the Calling, All right? So, Five of Fire, Five of Earth. Ten of water, Miss the little Buddha Buddha. Queen of fire, Queen of water. Sorry, some of you are feisty. Six of fire. Okay, in the calling. So, right off the bat, where I'm looking at, where I'm looking at the five of five of wands, three of earth, and the ten of water. Right off the bat, it's instantly telling me there's. There's a contract, okay? This is a spiritual contract. Some of you are clearly aware of it and some of you are not. Sometimes it's just the way it goes, okay? Um, <clears throat> which don't worry if you're not aware of it. <clears throat> it's fine. But I feel like this energy right here is very aware of the situation. <laughs> really, Goosey? Is aware of this situation because this this is a contract and it has to do with putting you in the right position, following following your calling, putting you in the position of complete abundance, of complete happiness, being successful, okay? The fact that we have the five of fire here, though, linked with the six of fire, is also telling me, though, it's combative, combative energy somewhere. So we're still fighting the ego a little bit, okay? Coming in as the queen of water, which is good, okay? So that, that's compassionate, that's you know, the emotions are there, the emotions are working, um, <clears throat> and some of you won't even realize you're following a calling, and others will be like, well, I'm not really sure about this calling, okay, um, your energy might be a little ups, ups and down, um, <clears throat> but not, not enough to, like, ruin your day, um, so I, I think this is the confusion that you're experiencing has to do with the path you're being led on as of right now, but I'm telling you, it looks like a beautiful, beautiful path. And at the, actually, I just looked at the bottom of the deck and it was the Ten of Pence. Um, I don't have any major kind of to clarify. So I will, well, I do, I got the call. So tell me about the call. To me, that's like, <laughs> no need to clarify. It's a calling, okay? You're being, you're being put in the right direction. And it looks like you guys are coming in as the queen of water energy right now, okay? So you're kind of battling your ego a little bit, whether you're aware of it or not, all right? So tell me about the call. So it looks beautiful for the first couple weeks, you know, it, it's, it's happy energy. Um, for those who are not dealing with a spiritual contract right now, which a majority of you are, okay? But for those who are not, you're just, 
you're happy go lucky but there's there's the next couple weeks are going to be off and on with energy so make sure you're checking all the other you know aspects in in your chart too so you can figure out how to to balance these out but um you might be starting a new job you might be signing a contract to move into a new home because um, this is moving, could be relocation sometimes, and you're battling, wondering, contract up, you just could be signing a new lease, could be purchasing a new car, you know, it's something like that where it's, it's going to bring you happy. Um, but a majority of this is most definitely spiritual, okay, and really listening to the call. All right, so it's the four air, yeah, so you're in the midst of healing at the same time, okay, um, Healing a little sad, maybe a little bored, but so to me, something probably got taken away, okay? Because to me, this is clearly getting on a path. Um, but this is this is a good sign because you you will heal from whatever situation ship you're in. Yeah, so you had the tower, so it's like an awakening too, okay? So let me pull you a lesson for the next couple weeks. You can definitely definitely work with this energy, okay? So, pull your lesson. Pisces, my birthday babies. Pisces for the next couple weeks. Patience. I accept everything happens in the divine order. Okay? Some of you are definitely feeling lonely right now because it's at the bottom of the deck. But my biggest message for you is, well, I'm going to pull your best advice. But this is, my deck's over there. This is Patience. You know, um, it's not, hold on, it's not really accepting, well, you have to accept, but it's not saying, meaning like, hold on, let me just get my cards. What are they? Say that's really bizarre. Um, sure, I just stuck to that one. I think that happened last time around. What's up, Buttercup? You want a hug? Okay, give me. I'm gonna hug you in one second. I'm gonna squeeze you. I'm gonna squeeze you tight. Um, have patience on yourself is is basically what I was what I was talking about. Um, it's not like oh, I have to have patience. I know something's happening. The divine's working on things. It's be patient with yourself because apparently you're healing. You've had a tower moment. Okay, we still have a little of that conflict going on in our head, but it's leading you to an awakening. It's leading you to where you need to be. So it's actually beautiful, beautiful energy, okay? So be patient with you and people around you, okay? So best advice for my Pisces. Best advice for my Pisces. To me, if you go towards this calling, it is going to bring a beautiful healing, okay? So, we have the three of air. It's, you know, sadness. It's, it's time to heal and forgive yourself and others. So, something happened, but you're in the process of getting past that, so it's beautiful. And at the same time, you have, you know, the magician, you know. I mean, the fool. It's a leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities are coming. So, it's like you don't even see this happening, but I, I mean, I I see it clear as day. I mean, I am who I am, so I have, I have the ability to see what's actually physically happening. So it's beautiful energy. All right. So don't don't stop fighting. Don't stop pushing through this. Okay. Don't feel stuck. Don't let the ego get the best of you. And take care of yourself because you're in the process of healing. All right. You have a beautiful future ahead of you my little Pisces okay just keep going in the right direction um let me clarify this five of fire for you real quick five of fire five of fire five of fire five of fire to me it's it's a little confliction when it comes to a new direction um, and kind of admitting when you were wrong, if it's something like that, admitting even to yourself, 
you know, that the scenario in, you were in was, was no good, but things are different. Things are definitely changing. This is what I love about this particular spread. All right, and you got that Queen of Fire, and it's ironic because I talked about the Queen of Fire. All right, because I originally called her the Queen of Fire. So take that assertiveness, that feistiness, use your intuition, inspirational moments, you know. So it's like turn the negative, if there's any negativity, into something that brings inspiration, you know. Um, something that's going to get your momentum going, okay. I feel like you have it this kind of flipped out the page of earth. It's kind of calling me. So for someone telling you this is a new adventure with work too, okay? But it would make sense because it, it's your path, all right? At, you're, you're under the energy right now of compassion and inspiration and confusion, okay? So it can be tough to work with, but I know you're going to be okay. I mean, I can tell you if you're resonating to this, you are most definitely going to be okay. Be patient on yourself because this is bringing you complete happiness, abundance all the way around. Okay. So if any of you are down, you know, cheer up buttercups because you have something beautiful being worked on. So make sure, you know, you check your other signs because this was very, um, there's a deeper meaning here, okay? So, again, the best thing I can tell you is, you know, do your best to just work through this energy because some of you are feeling stuck, you know, but you're, at the same time, you're being inspired. You could be over-emotional, um, confusion. But a majority, some, some of you, the ego is dying off, but a majority of you, um, you know, you're already in that healing process and... You can feel it, okay? I feel like they're going to give you a burst of energy real soon to kind of get you out of the the, the tears, okay? And, and make you see something where it's, it's going to be very inspiring. Because it's the fact that I even called it, I knew you were getting here. Because when I clarified, I, I just, I knew you were getting here because I can see it, okay? So it looks great. It truly does. So for those that are hurting, you know, cheer up, buttercups. You, we're going to get you out of this real soon. You know, bottom of the deck, eight of water. Please walk towards what makes you happy. Because you certainly, a group of you certainly knows what makes you happy. It's clear as day. And others, like I said, you're just, you're going with the flow. Continue to roll. Roll with it. Lean with it. Roll with it. Rock with it. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.